One of the biggest challenges for me when I started making videos was finding copyright free music. If you want to post videos online and you want to try to make money from them, this is an issue that a lot of people run into. We all know music is important because it can help establish a mood, it can help with brand recognition, and it can just elevate your videos and take them to the next level. If you're a beginner looking to add music to your video creations, I have a few suggestions for you. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll share the one that I personally use and a perk for you. Let's start off with the free category, YouTube. If you didn't know, YouTube actually has a built-in audio library that's free for creators to use. All you need to do to access this library is go to your creator studio and on the left hand panel, you'll see a tab that says audio library. You can browse by genre, mood, and even attribution required. So if you're brand new to adding music to videos, this is an excellent setting, an excellent place for you to start. The next free source is the Facebook audio library. Similar to YouTube, Facebook also has a free audio library, although it is a little more difficult to find. The technical name for this is the Meta Sound Collection. And if you Google it, I'm sure it'll come up. I think this is another great source of audio especially if you're someone who makes videos more on meta platforms, because technically these sounds are only copyright free if they're used on meta platforms. However, I have used them in a few YouTube videos and I haven't had any problems. But in the event that you do, this is the disclaimer, the terms of service says that they should be used only on meta platforms. Don't come for me. If you're on a tight budget or have no budget, these are two great options that I recommend. I spent years trying to find good audio for videos, and I want you to know that you don't have to break the bank or even spend any money at all on audio if you just need a baseline for your videos. I've used both of these options on gigs where I was paid to create videos where the client had no budget for audio. We made it work. You may have to do a little extra bit of digging, but I promise you that you should be able to find something to work with your videos in these free resources. If you like this tip, Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Now, if you do have a little bit of budget, I have three options for you. They are relatively similarly priced and the real bottom line comes down to whether you consider yourself a creator, a filmmaker, and realistically what kind of budget you have. The first is Epidemic Sound. If you're doing your research or you've watched YouTube videos by larger creators, I'm sure you've come across Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is a great place to start when you're looking for sound for your videos. They have a wonderful collection of audio and sound effects. The platform is easy to navigate and all of the licensing and terms are relatively easy to understand. Plans start at $9.99 per month billed annually or $17.99 per month billed monthly. This option covers you for one channel per platform and includes unlimited downloads. The next option is Musicbed. Musicbed is another great option if you're looking for music or sound effects for your videos. The caveat with Musicbed is that they label themselves as more of a higher end music service and they really gear their marketing towards people who are more filmmakers than just video content creators. Their website even boasts that they have the largest curated collection of music for film. Their pricing reflects that distinction. They start at a higher price point of $29 per month. That price starts for an individual plan and only goes up if you're looking for something more business or enterprise. And personally, that's a little steep if you're just getting started with video creation. Finally, we come to the service that I use, which is Artlist.io. And while Artlist offers a ton of plans, some with music and sound effects and motion templates and stock footage, I chose to go with the basic plan because I'm looking for music and sound effects. This plan covers a personal license for one channel per platform starting at $9.99 per month if billed annually or $14.99 per month if billed monthly. If you've been following along this year, every video that I've made since January has used music or sound effects directly from Artlist. And while they aren't sponsoring this video yet, I do have a shameless plug. If you would like to support this channel and use Artlist, if you use the link down in the description below, you'll get two free months whenever you sign up for any annual plan on Artlist. Truthfully, I'm sure we've all experienced the difference of a video that has extra audio and music and sound effects versus videos that don't. We know that having music and sound effects in your projects can elevate them to a level 
that amateurs and real beginners really don't understand. It's a great way to separate and differentiate yourself whenever you're creating videos, even for YouTube or for clients. And whether you choose to go with one of the free options or one of the paid options, I urge you to play with sound design as a way to take your videos to that next level. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, do the work, believe in yourself, and keep creating. Peace.